Here we go again with another weekly 10 minutes declutter with me. And I can guarantee you, even if you're not feeling motivated to declutter today, by the end of this 10 minute video, you are going to be inspired. You're going to be up and off your bahuki and moving forward. What I want you to bring along, because I expect you to work along with me, three bags or boxes, doesn't matter what they look like. We're going to have one bag or box for anything that we find that belongs in another space in our home. One bag or box for our donations, our giveaway items, and one bag or box for any trash or recycling that we might find. And when we're working in this area, I also ask you to bring along a few coat hangers for any items that will be going on probation. I will explain what that is along the way. Got those? Let's dive in. Diane and Emmerich here, ra ra ra. If we haven't met before, I am a routines coach and a fly lady expert. And I'm helping you this year for once and for all to simplify and to thrive. This is our 10 minute declutter with me video. I'm going to be working on blouses. I've also got some hair accessories, belts to go through. Let's see how much we can get done in the 10 minutes. I know you're going to be surprised about how much we can get done when we focus on one area and work together. This week we are working in Fly Lady Zone 4, the master bedroom. Now you don't need to work in this area, but I find it really simplifies the process when I use the Fly Lady system. Continually moving around the areas in our home and it reminds us of what we've got, what we're using, what we're not using and what we can let go of. And previously I've worked on going through my blazers, I've also gone through my sweaters and how I store those. So today is the time of the blouses. I make it really easy for myself to identify what I'm wearing and what I'm not wearing. I do the hanger thing. If the hanger is pointing in that way, it means that I've used the item recently. It's a classic. If it's pointing the other way, it means that I haven't used it for a while. So I'm just going to grab some things. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, there's another one. The idea that I use, especially when decluttering things, which is a, a bit difficult, is to put the items on probation. So instead of having to make that snap decision, well, well I may use it some other time. Um, what we're going to do is if you find any items, it could be uh, sweaters, maybe you're working on T-shirts. I would ask that you put the item on a coat hanger and then hopefully by the end of the 10 minutes, you've got a kind of week's worth of, of outfits. What we're going to do with these things is we're going to wear the, these items this week. Now, obviously, I'm not talking about occasion wear, a gala dress, uh, a dinner suit, but any of your kind of basic items that you should be wearing on a day to day basis. And don't worry if you're not at this stage yet. Maybe you're still at the stage of putting like with like. In your, in your wardrobe, putting all your sweaters together, putting all your t-shirts together, because that really also helps to simplify the process when you can say, oh, do I really need 10 pairs of old yoga pants when I actually only use two of them? So let's quickly go through what I have not been wearing. Okay, this one, I'm, I'm guessing this will probably go uh, straight to donations, because if I remember rightly, it was slightly too nippet, too small in the shoulders. I've got quite good uh, shoulders and arms now from all the uh, winter bathing and ice swimming for the last 10, uh, 13 years I've been winter bather. So that, that one will probably not be on for long. And the fun thing is when I put the items on probation, make myself wear them. And usually I do it on a day that I've not got special appointments or not um, going to the city. I can, I wear them at home and quite often within 10 or 15 minutes, I, oh, and I remember why I'm not wearing this because it doesn't fit right. I don't like the fabric, doesn't go with anything else. Okay, the dark navy one could be a keeper. Let's see. This one with the stripes. Uh, I quite often layer something like this with a plain sweater, but I haven't been turning to it. And I think it may be because, it, because it's got a bit of heathering in the blue, it comes off as slightly greyish. Could be that, because I've got another one. This one I do love. See the difference there? Yeah. Okay, this one, 
I'm guessing that this will be a donation as well because the stripes are very small. I like things on a larger scale. I like my jewellery on a larger scale. I, I use the Dressing Your Truth system for my um, capsule wardrobe. I've been using the Dressing Your Truth system since 2018. And this year I've simplified even more and I'm only keeping the colours that I really feel my best in, that are really 8 out of 10, <laughs> 9 out of 10. So I have removed all the yellow, the greens, the browns, I never liked brown. And my, my wardrobe colours moving forward are uh, pink, love pink, reds, blues, uh, some aquas and uh, white. That is it. Okay, back to these ones which are on probation, which will be going on probation. This one, I, I think I've, I've kind of often wore this one and thought, oh, actually, it's quite nice. But I'm guessing I, I don't like it so much because the, the pink... It's a bit, it's a type one pink, but it's, I, I prefer the kind of more poom in your face colours, like this top that I'm wearing today. We shall see, maybe it gets to stay. And this one, I'm guessing it's probably a keeper. It's a really nice uh, purple colour. And I think I've just not been wearing that because mm, I don't know why. Maybe it's time to start wearing it again. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I've got six items on probation how many have you found so far and then let's look at the kind of hair accessories belts we're not done and what about giveaway and put away items are you finding any of those in our 10 minute declutter remember that the put away items we're not putting those away right now where we'll do that at the end of the video but just focus in on what we're doing okay we're just focusing in on the decluttering I've got this bag and uh, as you know th this lives at the bottom of my wardrobe so that anytime I find an item that I'm not using it can go into the bag for our next swap party and if you want to know how to host a swap party what happens uh, at, at these parties that we have I've got a whole playlist and it's not just clothes that we swap it's also books kids toys kitchen gadgets and I've already got one item in the bag because I had this hoodie and at the weekend when I was getting my, my gear on for going for my ice swim, my winter swim with my Copenhagen Blue Tits uh, buddies, I, I saw this one in, in the wardrobe and I thought, oh no, actually, I, I, I tried it on and it's just not, not to be held on to. So that is going in the bag. And then come and look here. So this is my old jewellery box and I've decided I think now is the time to declutter it because... It was just getting too difficult to find to find my things. Everything was getting mixed up. And I've held on to it, but actually, and, and it's really nice. I love the, the fact that it's mirrored. It's kind of a kind of a bronze color mirror. But actually, I'm not using, I'm really not using it. So that can be decluttered. Hold on, just put my put that out of the way right now. Oh, look at that. My my medal from the Winter Swimming World Championships. Did I mention that? <laughs> I think I did. I'll be talking about that in a, a, a video at the end of the week. And over here, this is how I currently store my jewellery. And it's, it was just some cheap ones that I found on Amazon. But I find it really easy because what I usually I'm using these ones. These are my kind of everyday and I can stack them, kind of pretend that work in a jewellery shop. And then I have things that are more uh, my swimming earrings and fancy things that I don't wear very often. And then I've got things like party earrings and coloured ones. So it's just an, an easier way to, to find them. I may declutter more, but this was quite easy for my um, rings, rings and things. That's the one that I got last time I was back at mum's. And, and these just live in the top chest of my drawer, so it makes it really easy in the morning. I'm, I'm usually wearing a, a pair of those. Right, and hair accessories. Maybe you have hundreds of hair accessories. I've got short hair, so I don't really use any hair accessories. Uh, this hairband, it belonged to my daughter, and then I was thinking maybe I would use it, but it's far too ornate. Uh, and I've got this one which is actually okay, which I got at a swap, which is just a plain gold. So I'll hold on to that one. This can go straight to the swap. And I've got some hair elastics. Um, actually, I shall... I'll, shall I hold on? I'll tell you what, I'll hold on to 
the black and white one because often the kids are here and my kids have longer hair. I've got one and you may say, oh, that's only one thing. You know what? All those one, one items build up. So let, let's see, maybe you can just get rid of one hair accessory today. That would be a win. Right, belts. This is my collection of thin belts and immediately I can see woohoo, the yellows, they can go. So two yellow belts because I don't have yellow in my wardrobe anymore. Let me see, no greens or brown. Oh, there is a brown actually. That one can go. Yeah, up on three belts. Let's see, one, two, three. And the other ones are blue, pink, red, and then some uh, more like dressing up ones, diamante belt and a gold one. Okay, so those can stay and these can go. Woo! -hoo! And if you haven't got your self-care in today, just a wee reminder when we're working on this week's own Fly Lady Zone for the bedroom, add a wee bit of hygge when you've finished your decluttering or your cleaning. These are some of our uh, winter geck um, snowdrops. They're called in English from the garden. I put those beside my dressing table and just, just a little kind of hug to myself when I'm getting dressed in the morning or going to bed in the evening. And a wee word of encouragement to those of you who are trying to get your family on board with these things. You just keep showing them what you are doing and they will follow along because look, even hubby was decluttering this weekend. A belt, a suit jacket and one, two, three, four, five and five shirts that he never wears. So look at that, go us. And this is my little lot for today. So remember, I, I, I make this, these videos I don't do any sponsored content. I don't put those annoying ads that pop up in the middle of videos. I just want us to work together, to focus together. My goal this year, not just to simplify and thrive, is to get to 100,000 subscribers. You can help me with that if you can share my video in a capsule wardrobe group or a decluttering group or looking after your home group. That would really help me. I hope I've helped you today, give you a wee bit of inspiration, got you up off your bahookie and look at that, the sunshine is here. Beautiful Danish sunshine. So my work here is done. I shall see you later this week. All I've got left to say is live long and prosper. May the 10 minute declutter with me, who could be with you and the Danish sunshine. And I'll see you later this week with a wrap, wrap, wrap. Okay, bye for now.